Hello there guys, this is Jack One Day talking here and today I've got another video for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get your hands on one of the new graphics cards. So in particular, we're going to focus down on the RTX 3070. However, this method will also work for the 3080, 3090 and also the new future releases of the 3060. I'm going to give you my tips and tricks on what to do and how to get ready for the new release of the 3070. None of the Founders Editions or third party graphics cards are available for pre-order. Like we saw with the 3090s and 3080s, it was very hard to manage to get one because everyone was going after them and we saw a lot of people sell them on third party selling sites such as eBay. So let's get started. No matter what country you're in, you need to head over to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 graphics card splash page, like I am now. Once you've landed on this page, you will see sort of a load of information about the graphics card, what you can expect, um, what the Founders Edition will look like, and you can also sign up for a notify me email, um, which, yep, this graphics card will be coming available on the 29th of October, so very soon. If you scroll down and go to the bottom of the page, you can see where it says shop now and it says where to buy. For me, it will say United Kingdom because that's where I live. Um, but obviously based on your IP address, it will change. And below that has a number of different retailers you should be able to buy the graphics card from when it releases. So if you head over to some of them websites, check them all out and find the web pages you need to save for them days. I am aware that some of the retailers that usually would release these devices uh, are not on the here. So for example, in the UK, a big PC retailer would be Curry's PC World and they do tend to drop these cards. Um, I know they dropped the RTX 3080. So I'm also gonna get that website up and have a look on there and make sure I save a graphics card splash page. So here's an example, I've opened up ebuyer.com. As you can see, there is a load of different uh, third party graphics cards for the 3070. And if you just look through there, maybe decide which one you want, which looks most appealing. And then you just click on one. So I'm just gonna open up the first one. And then basically what you'd wanna do is just save these pages. And as you can see, it says coming soon right now, but here it would allow you to basically buy it and put it in your cart and obviously go through with the purchase. So this will obviously come available on the 29th of October. A lot of speculation is around what time. So usually what you'd wanna do is obviously be up, be up late at 12 a.m. So as soon as it hits the 29th of October, at literally no, uh, midnight, then you're ready to go on the website and basically look and see if it is available to buy. I've got a feeling that these won't come available at midnight from all retailers. Um, so look out for that. They might come out maybe at 8 a.m. in the morning, but I've got a good feeling that 1 p.m. in the afternoon on the 29th of October is the time a lot of retailers will be releasing their cards. So that's my first tip for you guys. The second tip is to just simply have a good internet signal and connection. So do test speeds on your laptop, computer, or mobile device, whatever device you're using, and make sure your ping and your download and upload speeds are all good. Um, if they're not at your home, then go to maybe a public place with you know has got good internet or a friend's house, but obviously socially distanced within the guidelines within your area. Basically, just make sure you've got a good solid internet connection that's fast, as I know that would be the most annoying thing on the day if you didn't. My third tip for you guys is to have the payment and delivery details ready. So just make sure you obviously got your credit card, debit card with you, uh, or whatever payment you're gonna use, your delivery details, you know them, put them all up in a note maybe, you know, so you copy and paste them across. And there is a great extension you can use on Google Chrome, uh, which I use a lot of the time. It's called Filler, so F-I-L-L-R, and that will automatically fill out your checkout details so that is like your credit card details your delivery your name address blah blah blah, blah all of that stuff just obviously set that up before the drop so my last tip for you guys is to be signed into a google account 
as a lot of robot certifications uh, can be avoided this way as a lot of them go through Google or you know being signed into a Google account kind of ver like verifies that you are a real human being in somewhat way. It's just to do with the robot cookies. Uh, obviously Nvidia are, are trying to crack down on people using robots and bots and stuff like that to get their products and then they you know you get a lot of people like I said at the start of video buying them using robots getting them and it's kind of an unfair fair advantage for them guys manually trying to cop. Anyway, let's move on to my suggestions. So I suggest using the mobile apps for retailers as most people will be using the websites um, on their computer. So more traffic will be causing delays on them sites. And a lot of the time servers are different for the apps. Uh, and sometimes apps can just be generally quicker uh, from how they're coded. So if there's any retailers that you are looking at on the website, then maybe just see if they've got an app, download that on your phone and you can kind of get a friend to help you. Maybe you can, one of you can be on the computer and the other can obviously be on the phone, both trying to cop at the same time. But just be weary of this because obviously you don't want to be buying, maybe if you're both successful, they could cancel your order because they'll see the name, the address, and that you can't, you're not meant to be buying more than one of the graphics cards. So otherwise, again, it's unfair for everyone. So my second suggestion is to use a monitor website or program uh, that continually checks the status of a web page for you. So it can send you an SMS or an email or some sort of notification to let you know that a web page has changed status. There's some great ones out there. So for example, you can use Uptime Robot or Uptrends. Both are free, you can sign up to and you can watch a YouTube tutorial on how to use them websites and get set up. You just basically simply sort of enter a keyword on that splash page. So for example, you know, coming soon on the ebuyer.com website. And when that changes, that variable go goes, then you know that it's dropped, if that makes sense. So my last suggestion for you guys is for the programmers. It's a little bit cheeky, but maybe develop your own software that monitors the change in web pages for each second because the three ones I just gave you, the Uptime Robot and Uptrends, I believe just check the website every minute or, or even every five minutes. So it's not gonna be the most consistent and fastest monitoring site. Maybe if you can program your own one using a bit of Selenium, Python, um, you can basically create a better version of Uptime Robot that checks the page and refreshes it every second maybe or every five seconds. So it's a lot more responsive. That way you'll have the upper hand against those people that are maybe using the websites like, such as Uptime Robot. If someone ends up programming a script like this, then obviously make sure you comment in the description and make it available to download as that'll give us true PC fans that are actually looking to buy one of these graphics cards and use it uh, a better chance of getting one. So that's it for my suggestions and tips. I've just got some reminders for you guys. So the first one being retailers should have like a pre prevention process in place for bots purchasing the products. So like I said, the whole Google account thing. Going on to the second point, yeah, retailers should only let you add one GPU um, to the shopping cart. So don't like spam it and add like loads because sometimes if you go to the shopping cart, you've got two in there, it might not actually let you purchase it because of that rule of you've only you're only allowed to buy one so thinking that you can get more might actually end up sort of slowing you down and then you could get none so consider that the last reminder is turn off any vpns or anything that could just slow down your connection so yeah just close any like sort of applications that might be quite you know cpu heavy that will slow down your computer or your phone so with all these things in mind it will give you the best shot at copying one of the new 3070 graphics cards or even the 3060 at a later date. I'm sure even a second drop with the 3080s and the 3090s is still gonna be hard to cop because of the limited number of graphics cards available from Nvidia. On a last note, the Founders Editions are always harder to cop. So if you've, unless you really, really and only want that version, then go for that version. But if you're not bothered, then try and go for the third party ones because you've got a higher chance of a successful checkout. Anyway, guys, let me know if you've copped one of the 3070 graphics cards or even the 3080 or 3090 before in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, then smash that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this.
I'm always looking for the latest news on gaming, PCs, phones, and any technology that I find interesting. So if you are interested in that, then make sure you subscribe and turn that bell notification on. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Peace.